What's up YouTube? You join me on a little adventure. I'm going on a road trip to meet with a guy from uh, one of the Facebook groups um, to pick up a bumper. Now this guy has been a little bit of a legend to be honest because he um, is upgrading his uh, front bumper to the XFRS bumper uh, and as a result doesn't have a need for the old bumper and genuinely nicest guy on the planet doesn't want anything for it apart from dinner and a coffee so um, this is actually saving me so much money for the rebuild because I've kind of gone massively over my initial budget <laughs> um, but it can't be helped you find things when you do something like this you'll find that um, there'll be hidden expenses things you've forgotten about things you don't even consider uh, for example I needed to get a, uh, a new um, washer a headlamp washer that's built into the bumper uh, 50 quid that cost me you know and then there's other little niggly things like the the door uh, the door lock motor you know that was 30 quid I think so yes uh, so I'm I've been working in Lincoln I'm now headed up to uh, effectively uh, Newcastle upon Tyne I think something like that we're gonna meet in Tim Hortons so we're gonna grab a coffee um, and yeah, so I've got currently three hours ahead of me and then back to Cardiff, um, which is going to be six hours, maybe. Uh, it's going to be a long, it's going to be a long road trip <laughs> just to pick up a bumper, but it's, uh, it's worth a journey because it's, like I said, it's going to just, it's going to save me actually maybe making some money on this car. So yeah, watch this space. a car that looks a little bit like this one. Um, Andrew's done a couple of cool modifications. Uh, he's put in the bonnet vents um, from the Jaguar XFRS and now he's got an XFRS front bumper so it's gonna probably look a little bit like an XFRS. Um, yeah, I believe his is Polaris white and this is Glacier white so it'll be interesting to see the two whites next to each other or at least within the same vicinity as one another. It depends if we can get parking spaces together, I guess. I'd take my glasses off, because no, I'm like Superman, be see. like Clark Kent yeah. in real life. Yeah. <laughs> the cape comes out and everything. <laughs> Um, so right, this is this is my good friend Andrew. Hi. Um, I've just been to pick up the um, the bumper from him, and <laughs> coincidentally, he lives down the road from um, Simon. Simon from Delta Performance. So we're having a little bit of a cheeky remap done in here. <laughs> Say hello, Simon. Hello. <laughs> Look at all this kit. Um, not really sure. Well, I think the gist of it is they take the main ECU map from the car and then replace it with the better one. Not that Jaguar like made many mistakes, but oh, that's a good beat. That yeah. was a self-destruction map coming off. <laughs> so, yeah, why don't you tell me a little bit about your uh, your modifications, Andy? My modifications. So, <laughs> um, quad exhaust on the back, carbon diffuser still to be put on. I've just had the uh, XFRS um, bumper put on. Uh, the vents put on the bonnet. Oh yeah, they look really cool. I the like Delta them. Performance Northeast remap by Simon hey. um, and that's <laughs> it for the moment but there's a few other little body parts to come spinner side skirts uh, and a different um, like the back bumper extension oh the yeah. yeah you know what I mean yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh it looks great though it does look really good Thank you. different white though isn't it very different white yeah. in comparison yours looks grey against mine yeah. <laughs> or we might just need to wash it <laughs> <laughs> yeah maybe cheers Andrew you're welcome <laughs> show me what you've just discovered well, if you look on this side, <laughs> it's white. Yeah. And if you look on this side, which I've just removed, is now black. Oh. So the original packaging <laughs> from brand new from factory is still on the car. Should we take this one off? So let's make it brand new. Go for it. This is the sat this I get to do the satisfying bit on your car. <laughs> That's fantastic. Shiny. 
So it's uh, it's pretty late now. Um, <laughs> Simon um, had a couple of uh, complications, uh, mainly due to the fact that the the, the battery in the key fob was uh, a bit flat. Um, I can't thank him enough, to be honest. Um, he was there for hours, and he did not give up. He did not leave me in the lurch when it started to go wrong. You know, he made sure the car was good to go when he'd finished. So he's done a software update for me on the uh, the gearbox and the um, the ECU, and it's it's much better than it was. He's definitely fixed the problem I was having with a bit of a laggy um, pull away from standstill. Sometimes it was dangerous because you pull out from a roundabout, you put your foot down nothing happens for like two or three seconds so massive shout out to you simon thank you so much um i'll put a link in the description to uh delta performance uh, which is uh where simon comes from and uh yeah smash your job cheers buddy <laughs> so it developed a small problem with the engine management light uh, coming on on the way home last night uh this spring that is supposed to keep this open when the vacuum releases is broken uh, so I'm going to try and, uh, well, to replace, you can't replace the spring, you have to replace the whole EGR cooler. So what I'm going to do is, uh, for now, until I can get a better spring, is pop an elastic band on it. Okay, so here's my temporary fix. Yeah, so that pulls that back open. Uh, let's make sure that it pulls it closed when I start the engine. Cool, so the vacuum has that shut. Cool. Don't panic, I upgraded it with a spring. I fitted the white bumper to the front of the car just to make sure it fits all right and I'm really happy with it to be honest. It's uh yeah lines up with the headlights. Uh, the bonnet I'm gonna let the body shop deal with because I can't quite get that perfect enough but i am chuffed to bits with that so thank you very much andrew if you're watching i'm sure you are at some point um yeah so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to take the white bumper back off and completely strip it down uh try and save myself some cash at the body shop um in labor charges if i just give them the bumper um naked <laughs> um and they can just paint it well clean it paint it prep it and they don't have to faff around with any of the trim, uh, the headlamp washers and parking sensors and things like that. It will save me a little bit of time in labour. Time in labour? A little bit of cost in labour charge. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to do that. So, let me tell you a little unfun story. Um, a couple of weekends ago, on a Saturday night, I forgot to lock my car, the white one. Um, and some chances got lucky door handle triers in the middle of the night 10 past 5 and got in the car and tried to steal it in failing that they stole the majority of my tools from the boot which is very very sad because it's cost me a few hundred pounds to replace them um, so top tip everyone lock your car garage on the corner of my street has got a CCTV camera um, but it didn't quite well it was too dark uh, it's not night vision so it was just pitch black and all you could see was the reflectiveness of the rear number plate and the rear tail light which illuminated which is how I know what time it was um, it illuminated when they tried to start it because well apparently the brake lights come on when you try and start it but obviously it wouldn't start because the key wasn't in it so they just had away with my stuff instead, sadly. Um, so yeah, lesson learned. Double, triple check, my car is locked. So yeah, keep an eye out for my yellow tool bag, will you? You've seen it in previous videos, it's normally sitting there in the background, but well, that is now gone. And I've had to replace all my tools. I've gone for, I've gone for Halfords Advance, and so far it's been all right. Um, a bit disappointed with the little ratchet I've been using lately, to be honest. This one. Because um, that kind of just comes out. You're supposed to, it's supposed to stay in there and you're supposed to press the button, so that'll be going back. The reason I went for Halfords Advance is because they come with a lifetime guarantee. Uh, no questions asked, you walk in, it's broken, they replace it with a new one. 
bada bing bada boom. Now I know Andrew said the body shop had uh, trouble getting this bumper off but I guess they didn't have a look on um, Google or YouTube to see how to remove it because they've ground off so many rusted screws because they couldn't undo them that they just didn't need to undo which is quite funny <laughs> so you may or may not have noticed uh, there isn't a grill attached to this bumper and this one has a broken one something else i need to order um but it's okay because i don't think we need that for the body shop i will need it when it comes back to uh comes to refitting the bumper but i'll get one ordered and hopefully it'll be here on time i think the black mesh is actually okay i won't know until i take it off but i think we can get away with um not replacing that if i can just get the chrome surround bit that will save some cash I've bought a new one of these as well, well, new to me, second hand, um, because the nozzle has completely snapped off the front of it, as you can kind of see. Uh, I'm going to pop these out to save body shop time. Um, it looks like just a few screws, they all look rusty, which isn't going to help me, but um, hopefully that will come out quite easily. Interestingly, these bits are actually metal. You can hear it. Hmm. So I managed to get it out without breaking the bumper. Um, obviously I've damaged this, so I need to get a new one of those. Um, and uh, basically I just ripped out the bolts. <laughs> the other side came out fine. There we go, so now the body shop will be happy with that because they can just paint. They don't have to take any, well, they don't have to do what I've just spent a couple of hours doing, so that saved me a bit of cash. I'm going to go shake this in a bush. One naked bumper. Bumper skin, as some people call them. Yeah. Well, I think what I'm going to have to do, I don't know if you can see, there's a couple of uh, rusty bits that are just going to have to come off the painting. So, get them out without damaging the bumper. Oh yeah! Look at that, minging. Um, when it comes to refitting, uh, I need to take this bit of foam out with all the wiring for the parking sensors and obviously the tubing for the headlamp washers. You guys have seen me put this bumper on, take it off, swap it around so many times. I'm not going to bore you with that, so yeah, we'll just cut to some sort of time lapse. Right, so now that's stripped down, ready for the body shop, I'm gonna put it in the back of the car. Um, and then next time you see it, hopefully, 
we'll be pretty much finished. So it's booked into the body shop on the 8th of October. Um, it's going to take a week. Uh, so hopefully next time I see you, it'll be finished. So I hope this video didn't bore you too much and you're enjoying the show. Um, if you did like it, then hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to like it, blah, blah, blah. Ooh, a dandelion. Not a dandelion. Dragonfly. Anyway, I'll catch you next time. Cheers. Thank you.